Oh, man! You got me! Ah! Kill him, bro. All right, let's go see him right. here. Does you got your blood going or not? Yeah, man. I know, I'm the same way. That's why I can't play. I want to go play now. I don't want to do videos now. <laughs> I, don't take I want to just play. Guys, welcome back to another episode. You guys know where I'm at. I'm still at Tim's house. We couldn't finish today. It was too much. So here goes, episode two, stay tuned. We're gonna show you all the madness, the best Akins you've ever seen. This man is going mad right now, so let's check this out. So then, we're here in your second floor. Yes. This is your Aiken room, your utility room, your, your all your crazy stuff behind the scenes. He's got seven fish tanks just into this room, seven. You're going crazy, you need more space, buddy. Yeah, I have a so problem. Anyways, get me started here. So what are we looking at here? 80 gallon tanks from the blue? Uh, 60. 60. 60 gallon, yeah. All right, so I see you got two of them. Yes. And these, are they one system or two systems? One system. All right, so let's talk about this system. This system is strictly LPS and uh, softies. LPS and softies. All right. Mm -hmm. And how long has this system been running? Maybe about five years now. Five years? Yeah. And why do you call this quarantine? I will call it just another... No, this is not quarantine. No, oh, this is not quarantine. This is the farm. This is your farm. Yeah. I said this is your museum. This is where you collect all your <laughs> yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh, you want to be in the video again? He bring you the toy? Huh? No corals, right? No corals. Sorry, guys. Sorry. You know, you guys know we like dogs. So anyhow, so the first thing that I noticed here is this colis that you got here. And yes. I noticed you frag a few of them. Yes. Uh, I recently, about a year or two ago, we start fragging them based on when they weren't doing good or seeding. Yeah, yeah. And we start cutting them. They can be fragged, however, mm -hmm. they take a very long time. They can take a year, year and a half before oh, yes. they even turn into a full little button um, scolemia, you yeah. know? So I see you don't have a lot of fish on this system. I don't. I just have uh, two tangs and uh, one six line ras. How do you deal with algae issues and, and parasites? The, the, tank, and... the tanks take care of the, uh, the, the algae. It's healthy it's enough. It's enough yeah. corals where it just the system is healthy. Yeah. You got some ricordias back there. You got mushrooms. You got scolimias. Can you tell me a little bit about the maintenance on this specific tank right here? Maintenance on this tank, um, pretty much the same as the display. Same as that. Once, once about, a month, yeah, about once a month. 10 yeah. So basically, everyone who watched the first episode, they can assume you're doing exactly the same thing on this. Yes. So if you guys haven't watched the first episode, I suggest you go watch it right now. Don't waste any time. All right. And this hammer here, that's one that I'm really digging. That thing is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. That's that's one of my favorites. That's so different, man. I mean, yeah. I think I have one similar. I don't know if it's the same, but that's the first thing that caught my because I have one like that on my display. I mean, I got yeah. most of these, but that one catches my eye. I love that thing. Yeah. Basically, it's colis, hammers, zonzoas, some mushrooms. But I want to show, you are known for collecting Akins. It seems like that is your number one core, right? Yeah, you yeah. Know what I'm saying? See. So you got a crazy collection here. Can we show everyone what you got going on? Yeah, Akins are one of my favorites. Um, I'm, uh, that's what I'm known for, because not, not many people grow and farm Akins because they take so long to grow. You know? And they change colors. And they change colors. Nice. So here's a, here's a, a secret about about acans. 90% of rainbow acans will morph into it's orange, into red or orange. Yes. So they'll look beautiful, you know, first um, when they get imported, and then two, three months later, they'll be all orange. It depends on lighting, right? Lighting and food. Nutrient. I don't. I, I think. I think there's, there's no, there's no stopping it. I think it's just um, the artificial light, artificial environment. They're just gonna morph. Not enough nutrients for what mm -hmm. I heard when they collect acres. Yeah. You can barely have visibility three feet in front of you. The water is so murky. Yeah. That's what I keep hearing from all the Australian collectors when they're collecting them. Mm -hmm. They say it's literally one of the most poor visibilities that you will find. So people people always ask me, um, how do you keep how do you keep the, the colors on your acans? Um, the secret is I, I just don't buy them wild. Yes. You buy you buy um, aquacultured acans that have been in the hobby, been in captivity for longer than a year, and they then, keep the color. then you'll know. And you start learning to know which ones are gonna keep the color too. Yes. Right? Yeah. You know certain kinds that are gonna keep that color. Yeah. Which it takes that, it takes the train eye in order for you to do that. You have to see enough course. That's not something you can teach someone what to look for, you know? I've, I've bought countless uh, rainbow uh, colonies. Yeah. And they just morph all orange. And then I just, I just end up selling it for super cheap. Yeah, you got a couple here that kind mm -hmm. of turn orange. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know it's got a little bit of green yeah. over there, but then you see kind of something like that. Yeah. The reality is like... So these two and this tank. 
Oh, and this tank. These are all okay. come together. Okay, we'll look at this madness here. Yeah, so this used to be a, a display tank. Okay. But it quickly turned into a uh, giant frag tank. Okay. You know, you can't you can't even see through the front of it. Because... Frag tank full of colonies and just it's just another place for you to put corals. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. So it was it was SPS dominant, and then I started adding Euphelia because the Euphelia were were coloring up so well in here. Yeah. So I just loaded up the top with the, with the uh, torches and then the bottom with hammers. So just SPS and Euphelia in here. Got you. And then what else do we have? And then we got my my workstation right here, okay. where I do I do uh, the fragging water testing, fragging water testing, um, the gluing, um, bagging, shipping, dipping, yeah. So quick question for you: So if people want to buy some of your corals, where can they find you? Uh, you can just go to my Instagram okay. uh, Coral, at Coral Exotic. Okay. And then I have my website linked to it. Uh, I have a Facebook group. What's your website? It's a uh, vendorup.me slash okay. Coral Exotic. Okay, you guys got that. We're gonna post it on the link below. Go help them but now. Just, just, go, just go to my Instagram. I got everything linked to it. Okay, there you go. Support the man. Go check out his Instagram. Go follow him, guys. Hi, right, what do you got here? This um, is a, a neglected tank. All right. Yeah, so. So is this kind of like a quarantine and income? Something? Uh, no, it was supposed to be uh, a nice little, you know, display with with NEMS and some LPS. So you're chewing a little more than what you can then, fit in your mouth. Yeah, so, all you right. know, with all these tanks, it's hard to keep up. Um, this this tank got neglected badly. It was covered in algae. Cool. It was like every single inch was covered in algae. It's finally starting to clear up. There's a, a peacock mantis shrimp in there too. Okay, pretty big? Yeah, yeah, but he hardly ever comes out. All right, so. That will be three, this is number four, and then you got two more right here. Yes. And what are these two tanks? They're 30 gallon tanks each? Yeah, so these are just cheap Petco 29 gallon okay. uh, Aquion tanks. And uh, what do you use these two tanks for? Just quarantine. Quarantine? Yeah. Just just like the one downstairs, yep. just skin calm, yeah, just so observing. Incoming, incoming, they go in here first, um, you know, I observe. But uh, but since, since my tanks are just packed and full, Yeah. Some corals tend to stay in the quarantine a little too long. Gotcha. Yeah. Like we said, you got a lot going on anyway. You're <laughs> yeah. a one-man army, yeah. and this is not even your full-time job, so you're, yeah. you're doing a heck of a job, buddy. Uh, kudos to you, man. And then you have one more tank that we can check out? Do you want to or no? Let's go. All right, come on. Last but not least, tank number seven upstairs, right? Yeah. All right, and what is this? Talk to me. Like. So this is my uh, bedroom tank. Right. Um, I've got some of my favorite corals in here. You know, it's it's something that I, I look at more than uh, more than the other tanks. Gotcha. First thing when I wake up, I, I I get to see it. How big is it? It's a 20 gallon all in one. All in one. Yeah. And how long has this tank been running? Uh, about two years. Two years. Yeah. Man, it's phenomenal how good these Akins are doing. Like you're right. Every time I'm having the same problem. Every time I put Akins, they do great, and then the fish start picking at it. And guess what you gotta do? Either you remove the Akins, you remove the fish. Guess what I've been doing? I've been removing the Akins. Yeah. And so the fish. So I just need a dedicated because I got a lot of crazy Akins, but they all spread through all over the place instead of just fish. Fish love them. Concentrating them. Yeah, yeah. Just the tanks, the copper bands. Then you got a couple of nice bounce mushrooms mm -hmm. here. A couple of meat corals from Gia's. You got one of the magic carpets. You got a little, you got you got a couple of fish, you got a six line ras, yeah, you got a ruby line. red uh, dragonair. Mm -hmm. What is that, a St. Thomas mushroom? Yeah. All right. Well, I think that covers all seven tanks, right? Yes, sir. So if you have to give three tips to our viewers, how can they do better with Akins? What will you tell them to do? Uh, I think the number one misconception about Akins is that they are low light, low flow. I think. Too low flow is detrimental to, to the Akins because the since they're so fluffy, they uh, they can collect detritus in between the polyps, and then they'll start to rot, and then and then it'll start receding and it'll kill off the polyp. So, so I think I think I think, I think medium flow is perfect. So okay. enough to enough to keep them clean. I think I think you know that, that's that's true with it in most corals. Okay. Enough to keep them clean, and then light they can handle a good amount of light. Um, you know, this is like about 180 par. So since we're talking about what are you 180 par, and what yeah. are you running here? Uh, I've got a Kessel AP9X, okay. and then two uh, two blue strips. 
Okay, and you say the bar is 180. About 180. Yeah, so 150 say, to 180. So let me. So, so you're saying they don't need that low flow, medium flow. Yeah. They don't need that low of light, like everyone keeps saying. Right. So that's two, and anything else. If you don't want to be surprised and have it morph to you know, plain orange on you, buy buy aquacultured egg hens, because uh, then, then you'll know that it'll stay nice in, in captivity and and then it won't morph on you. Has this ever happened to you? And it's happened to me before, and I think I sold it to Blaze back in the day. Hmm. Where a green Aiken, it mm -hmm. starts turning into rainbow, I don't know what. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, Those turn crazy. Yeah, so, yeah, sometimes they'll, sh they'll morph to, for the better. So you'll buy... It's not often, that's yeah, the right. not often. Sometimes you'll buy, you know, a plain, a plain looking Aiken, you know, like, yeah, all green or something, and it, it can morph to, to yellow and, and rainbow. Yeah, so that's, that's part of the reason why I like Aiken so much. You, you kind of don't know what you're going to get. All right, well, then thanks for having us over again. Thanks right, for Rick. the invite, dude. We appreciate it big time, man. You're killing it. I hope you guys really enjoy these two videos, part one and part two. Ten here is killing it. Again, go check out the men's Instagram. On the meantime, subscribe to our channel. Give us a like, post some comments below. I'll see you guys soon.